So today I want to show you how to make emergency gaskets using cereal box. Um, now imagine you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere and you don't have the luxury of proper gasket material. This is the normal custom gasket material. Um, you can buy it in sheets like that, buy it in rolls. Is a, this is a 1.2 millimeter thick. This one's 1.8 millimeter thick. That's what I'd normally make them out of. But for this purpose of this video, we're going to make them out of a cereal box. So imagine you're driving down the road and your thermostat housing springs a leak, and you can't get to a shop, or you um, the shop doesn't have the gasket you need then the only option is to make one. Um, now obviously cereal boxes you're going to get from pretty much any shop in the world. So this is why I chose this material. Um, as you can see it's very, it's, it's over, it's about 1.2 millimeter thick and I've used cereal boxes to get me out of trouble uh, making custom gaskets in the past and I've had cars that have had these gaskets on for six months and absolutely been fine. Never swung a leak. I wouldn't recommend a long-term use of it. Obviously, either get yourself a proper gasket material and make yourself one, or go down to the shop and get yourself the proper gasket for the job. But it's not always possible. So, and also we're gonna make it out of the housing itself, as if we didn't have the gasket, as if the gasket had been destroyed during the leak or whatnot. So the first thing we need to do is make a template to draw the gasket. So the quickest way I've found to do this is get yourself some masking tape and then just make sure your um, housing is nice and clean for the tape to stick to. We're going to lay the masking tape over the flange Stick it down. Do a couple of layers and it makes it a lot easier when we come to cut it. Now is a standy blade <coughs> and just scrape the standy blade down the outside of the flange like so. And this will cut into the masking tape almost drawing you a line. As you can see here comes away nicely. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the flange. I'm just finishing off scraping these last little bits off on the edges. You can see uh, it's taking shape. So what we need to do now is cut out the holes for the bolts. It's three bolts and the hole for the thermostat itself. So get yourself a sharp blade, and just run it up against the outside of the housing. of the uh, bolt holes now. Could do, uh, do this with a scalpel, it's a bit more accurate. 
But I'm not imagining everyone's got a scalpel in their house. So now you've cut out the holes and the thermostat hole. Just gently peel off. This is why I made it a bit thicker, otherwise it will tear. Gently peel off your gasket template. Careful not to tear it. And there's your template for your gasket. Being sticky as well makes it a lot easier to then push down on your cornflake packet. And now you have an outline to draw. Now, if you was making the gasket with proper materials and you wanted to use that template, then you just now draw it onto that instead of that. But for this, this video, we want to make it on a cereal packet. So now get yourself a pen or a pencil and start drawing on the outline. Drawing the outline, you can then peel off the gasket template. And there you have it. Your template for your thermostat housing. So now we're actually on the card itself. It's a bit thicker. It's a little bit easier. Very careful not to slip as you ruin the gasket and have to start again. You can also do this with scissors, just find this a little bit more accurate. you make do with whatever you have at the time. So there you go, that's all cut out. There you have your cereal box gasket. You can see how well it fits. Perfect. Now, if you've got the luxury of having some silicon sealant or gasket sealant, I'd put a thin layer around this. Now, the only thing that I would not use these gaskets on is exhaust. I would use it on everything else, oil, water, air, so inlet, water, thermostat, um, 
nothing that's severe high temperature. The other good thing about cereal boxes is they are quite thick. So that cereal box there. It's 1.4 millimeter thick, which is actually thicker than the flex oil jointing that you can buy. So I hope this video helped you and gets you out of trouble making uh, an emergency gasket, stops yourself being off the road. Maybe you have to drive to get your part and you haven't got another car. This will get you there temporarily until you fix it properly and got the correct gasket. So if uh, this video helped you, uh, give us a like or subscribe to the channel for more videos and I'll be doing some more videos soon. Thank you for watching.